In this video, we will show how to migrate your existing MSO 3.1 configuration to MSO 3.3 that is deployed on Nexus Dashboard. Note that the procedure assumes you have deployed a fresh Nexus Dashboard cluster and installed the MSO service on it, as well as added any remote authentication servers you may be using with your existing MSO. For information on those tasks, See the Nexus Dashboard and Multi-Site Deployment Guides. First, we log in to your existing MSO UI. Here in the Dashboard page, we have three sites, one in Sydney and two in San Francisco and New York, which have connectivity over an inner site network. If we look at the Sites page, we can also see a list of sites. Note down the exact names of each site as you will need to use them later in the procedure. One of the changes you'll notice after migrating to MSO on Nexus Dashboard is that user configuration for services will be managed through the Nexus Dashboard UI and not directly in MSO. Any local users you have created in MSO will be imported into Nexus Dashboard but you must manually add any remote authentication servers you use to Nexus Dashboard prior to migration. Let's create a backup of your existing configuration. From the Backups and Restore page, click New Backup. Provide the name, then click Save. Then select Download for the configuration file you just created to save a copy locally. Now let's go over to our Nexus dashboard and restore the configuration from the backup you created. Here you can see that the MSO service is already installed, but there are zero sites managed by MSO and zero sites onboarded to the Nexus dashboard. If we open the MSO service, it loads the MSO GUI using single sign-on, and we can see that there are no sites listed under infrastructure as well as no tenants, aside from the default common, DCNM, and infra tenants. Or schemas, since this is a brand new MSO deployment. Switching back to the Nexus Dashboard UI, the first step is to add the sites that were previously connected to MSO 3.1. In the Dashboard page, click Add Site and provide the site information to onboard your first site. If you switch the Sites page now, you can verify that Site is added successfully as the connectivity status changes from Unknown to Up. Use Actions Add Site to onboard the New York and Sydney sites. Note that the site names that you use when onboarding the sites in Nexus Dashboard must be identical to the names used by your MSO 3.1 backup. After all the sites are connected, open the MSO Service UI and in the Infrastructure Sites page, verify that the sites are present as well. Note that the sites must remain in the unmanaged state before you restore the backup, or the migration process will not succeed. The next step is to upload the configuration backup file you created earlier. In the Operations Backup and Restore screen, click Import and select the file you saved locally. The final step is to roll back to the backup, which you can do by selecting Roll Back to This Backup from the Action menu. 
The confirmation screen will let you know that when you roll back to a previous version, you should redeploy all schemas. Click Restore to proceed. The process may take several minutes to finish. After the configuration restore is complete, you can see the status of each stage and task, such as local MSO users added to Nexus dashboard, configuration database restored, and so on. Click OK to return to your MSO GUI. At this point, all your previous configuration will be available in MSO 3.3. The dashboard page will show the three sites and their connectivity. The Tenants page will display any tenants imported from the 3.1 configuration backup. And in the Schema page, you can view, edit, and deploy the schemas you had configured using your old cluster. As previously mentioned, there is no admin page in the MSO GUI in Release 3.3. The Administrative tab has moved to the Nexus Dashboard UI, where you can manage all users, local and remote, for all your services. And the Nexus Dashboard Sites page will now indicate that the sites are used by the MSO service. Thank you for watching.